like the two or three that I remember the most is um, like the first one would be my dad. He would sing constantly, and he had a lower voice than I do, and he wasn't like a belter. He was just a singer, and I thought he made up the songs right there and then. I thought he was just singing songs that he made up. <laughs> yeah, basically. Or he'd be like, "Just shut up! What are you talking about?" And he was singing. Is that everybody's relationship with their dad? Like either superhero, way, superhero or like ass hat. Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> and, um, he was singing Woody Guthrie too, oh, and I had no clue. That's cool. Until I turned a teenager and started, or figure music out. Teenager, like a 13, 14 year old. Uh, one of the other big influences when I turned teenage years. Right early tween, teenage years, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame opened up. And when that opened up, they started making these documentaries about the history of rock and roll. Yeah. 30 years, 40 years in. So they were doing stuff like this, you know, like this is where it comes from and stuff like that. So I would just go to the library or go to the record store and buy Bo Diddley records and, you know. And then the one thing that the weird other thing related to that is that. At the time, they found that John Lennon record that Free as a Bird, but they didn't have anything about it. So they got all the guys from the Beatles to come together and do one more song. And they made this big, giant documentary about it and stuff like that. And they did that song, and I'm watching the whole thing. I'm like, this is so neat. Isn't this neat, Mom? And she's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, really? And it was, I was asking this conversation you know, with her and her sister, her oldest sister. And they're like, no, no, we didn't like the Beatles. And they're like, you didn't like the Beatles? Were they into Stones? They were into the Stones. Okay, that's, that's and, they, and they would say stuff like, you know, the Beatles are just... Didn't do it for them. Didn't do it. Like, the Stones were original. They did their own thing. Because of that, I just started learning about, you know, Keith and them. and like Exploring rock and exploring roll. Exploring rock and roll. Yeah. Exploring what influenced them. Stuff like that. So, like, <laughs> things like... Um, learning about the crazy tunings and you know uh, Keith Richards going I don't need this low string you know yeah. <laughs> and, like, and like just stuff like that but also he would explain oh I did that because of this person oh I started using open tunings because of Ry Cooter and I'm like who's Ry Cooter and you look up Ry Cooter and you, then you look up like Bona Vista Social Club then you look up uh, it's Taj Mahal stuff like that Yeah. so that when you were into, you got into like the 70s fusion stuff. I got into the weird like 70s post hippie blue stuff for a hot minute. Ry Cooter, J, uh, Brown was in that a little bit. A little bit of that uh, LA folk was in that too. But also like Taj Mahal and stuff like that where they were influences for like the Allman Brothers. And stuff too. They didn't. They uh, Dwayne Allman didn't even start playing slide until he heard Taj Mahal's first record.